putting it into that turn there. You can feel the boat. She's like an animal. She, she, she talks to you, but you need to control her. Picture this, the sun gently tanning your skin, the smell of a fresh coffee, bacon and egg roll, and you and the most important person in your world right now enjoying a day, a day to remember. Well, you don't need to picture it if you're on the Chris Craft. My name's Dan Jones, I'm from The Boat Brokerage, and today I'm on a beautiful Chris Craft which has had some really amazing upgrades to make it something that's going to last well, well into the future. So yeah, this is the walkthrough part of the video. If you've come from the test drive, thank you and welcome. Um, if you are interested in this boat, there's going to be more detailed on it, detailed information on our website that you can access by clicking the link and heading over there. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a walkthrough. Um, Chris Crafts, they don't really need much of an introduction. You now these boats are absolutely goddamn gorgeous you know this is the picture of cool this is the dream that everybody has when they think about owning a boat and and this is also something that you create amazing memories on so what is this uh, this is a 2013 chris craft it's the heritage edition so it's got all the nice features it's got the stainless steel around the seats the extended swim platform out the back just here and it's all teaked all the way up to the bow this is a corsair so that means it's got a little sleeping cabin with a toilet down uh, downstairs it really is just a sit down or, or, or a, uh, a cuddy cabin so to speak you're not going to um you're not going to have multiple nights there but hey it's there and it gives you options um, but the most interesting thing about this particular boat is in 2021, it had a brand new engine and drive package fitted to it, which we're going to have a look at in a second. Uh, and that means, you know, you've got another 10 years of enjoyment uh, at minimal expense. She's this beautiful golden hull, which you'll hopefully see uh, on the drone shots. But we'll just start out the back here and just point out everything we see. Yeah, the Americans, they build good things and, and they, they're all about quality. Um, so they're, uh, they're hard to beat in that, uh, in, in that area. But what do we have here? We've got a swim shower just there. That's probably gonna be cold water only. We've got some pouring cleats just there. This is gonna be a little handle to hold on when you're getting up the swim ladder. So that's just something to grab onto. Um, these are the hinges to uh, open up the engine hatch, which is this whole area just here. That is gonna be uh, a, a tow point for um, pulling tubes and, um, you know, it's not so much a wakeboard. Oh, I know you could, uh, sort of, of course you could wakeboard behind this, it makes heaps of wake, but, um, but the, the tow position is quite low. There's the shore power inlet, there's another cleat, there's your waist out just there. We've got some nice stainless and teak grab rails just here. And this teak at the back of the boat here is also the aft sun lounge and there are cushions which fill in this area and uh, make it the rear sun lounge so you can lounge and face back. It does have a, a flag and that's a flag holder just there and a couple more drop down cleats just there and there. This is the air intake for the engine bay and here is the uh, all round white light for nighttime navigation and your green and red are up the front. As we make our way forward, we can see a little bit of discoloration in the uh, upholstery just on the top there that happens with age so you know it can bother you or you can get it retrimmed that's up to you and there is the whole sun bimini which are uh, which unfolds you can see these stainless arms just in here and protects pretty much the whole cockpit and you just got these little stainless supports or little clippy things just there and there to hold it in position because you can drive at moderate speeds with that in place uh, there is a lunch table which will slot down into place in here and you can also um, uh, just use the, the stainless steel fridge just there and then storage. Here in the corner 
and in there, and then you've got um, the batteries just down there as well for activating the house and the engine battery. We've got some speakers here and here. We've got courtesy lights just here. Drains, they just go into the bilge and they would be uh, pumped out by the uh, bilge pump in the engine bay if, uh, if you took some water into the cockpit area. And then this is your another storage area or for gas if you were gonna do that. Couple of cup holders here, couple more just here. Really, really beautiful leather seats. This one, just here, is good for two people. And it is adjustable as well. Let me just have a quick look at that. It's got height adjustment. No, I beg your pardon. It's got forward and back adjustment, this seat, and the height is fixed. Little 12 volt charger just there, bit of storage, another drink holder, subwoofer, more speakers, courtesy lights, and then on the port side, more storage, cup holder, little glove box, good for wallets, phone chargers, you got some more charging and your stereo just in there. Look at all this beautiful stainless just everywhere. Little step that folds away and that takes you to the bow where we'll go in a second. And the helm. Yeah. Just enough information. They don't overload you with um, screens and gadgets and gizmos because it's not about that. You know, this is for putting on your favourite trucker hat or your, your 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 fedora or a nice fancy fancy hat and your your, your favourite linen shirt and just cruising around and feeling good. Um, you know, you're not really going to go. Uh, build pump. Uh, it, so it's, it's, it's got a it's got a float switch, but that's the manual override. This is your uh, bridging the batteries. This is your engine hatch lift, which I'm going to do uh, just in a second. Anchor operation from back here. That was the straight through exhaust system, which has been discontinued with the brand new motors. They decided not to bother, or the current owners, I should say, decided not to bother with that because it's just um, it adds to potential service risks and. Times are changing. You don't really want to pull into the arena blasting it, you know, the maximum noise um, right in front of people as you, you pull in for lunch. All your lights just here. There's your blower. And then uh, more lights just there. Engine ignition. Start, stop. And then we've got all of our analog displays for the motors just here. So I've got speed in miles per hour. I've got revs on either side. Uh, and then we've got temperature, PSIs repeated on that side drive angles, batteries just here, and then quick control for the stereo. Inside each of these, I don't know if you can see that, look at that, 13.6 hours. Hopefully you can see that, 13.6 and 13.7. Brand spanking new. So that's new, it's a, it's a whole new loom, so it's got a new throttle, and you've got the new diagnostics computers just here. It was all installed by Mans Marine, Toby Man, you can see just there. Uh, so what's what's uh, let's take you forward. Beautiful teak, it's all in really good condition in the cockpit. Stainless steel windscreen, just these things are gorgeous. And then up on the bow. So the reason why all this teak and even the gunnels is in such good condition, the boat lives under a cover. So none of this is exposed from day to day. It lives under a cover, and so you just quite an easy cover to pull off. You roll it up, a couple of poles in the middle, and you're ready to rock and roll for the day. You've got your air horn just here, you've got your teak grab rails on either side, and this, you can see the press studs just here, is the forward sun lounge. The, the sun lounges have got their own little bags, and um, so they go, they're stored downstairs, we'll see them in a second, and this area can be complemented with another sun lounge. You've got a cool little Chris Carr flag just there. Look at this little detail, isn't this nice? So this is actually a nice stainless molding for your nav lights. And then another little mini cleat just there, but you've also got cleats here and here. Electric anchor, stainless steel anchor with gal chain on this one. I've just used it to anchor us in this position. Look at this. This could be you. Little window, They uh, some of the earlier models didn't have that, so that to get some ventilation from downstairs. And um, I think it's time to go down and have a look. But before we do that, let's uh, get to that one. 
let's go check out these new motors because this is this is the feature of this boat because there's going to be plenty of crisscrafts. Um, the unique feature of this boat is absolutely the mechanicals and the hull. You know, there's there's a lot of blue crisscrafts out there, um, and blue's cool. I love blue. I have a blue boat myself, but blue does fade and it shows its age. Not many gold ones, and, and, and this one. Is it, do you call it that color gold? I'm going to call it gold, but it's gorgeous. So. Um, not too many gold ones and not too many boats with brand spanking new 38 uh, v8 300s I should, I should say Volvo Pentas so you can see your battery bank just there so I can send you all the paperwork or we will upload it to our website but just so you can see brand spanking new motors uh, hopefully that's coming across on the camera just there okay so that's the sunshade that unfolds just there you probably would use that when you're in lunch mode all right so this is how you go downstairs you'll have to excuse my bags and a couple of fenders but just to give you a feel here we are those in their custom Chris Craft bags are the sun lounges. Then you've got a couple of throw cushions just here. This is a, a V-shaped bed, which would sleep two people. You know, two normal sized people can sleep. Then you've just got a little bit of storage here, a few bits and pieces in terms of lights, another little bit of storage there. And there is a toilet in the middle underneath. So there you go, but nice little bit of timber trim. As I said, you got the window, you got the mirror there. And hey presto, it's somewhere to get out of the sun, somewhere to crash if you fancied it, and obviously somewhere to store your, your gear. Anyway, I think that's that's it. That's that's all I have to say. Um, if you are interested in creating some memories, entertaining some friends, or just having a good time. Check it out, follow the link in the description below, get in touch, I'd be happy to show you. My name's Dan Jones, it's been The Boat Brokerage, see you on the next one.